Okay, good Sunday afternoon. Good Sunday afternoon, everybody. Uh, so, uh, today's video is going to be on questions, Lepertorius questions. I don't know how many people are going to watch it, but these are the questions that we've been getting on our email. And uh, we'll get started there. Um, just a few questions. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven, maybe eight, but we'll go ahead and just um, go through it real quick. So uh, the first one is from a lady, and she's from Minnesota. So uh, I'm, not, I'm not mentioning names here. Uh, I'm not, you know, I'm just saying a state and male or female. So lady, uh, this person, she's a... Uh, uh, Asking why, why I decided or we decided to buy so many tortoises. Um, I had already made a video on that. Uh, so, uh, so why did you decide to buy so many tortoises? And if any, what problems did you have raising them? Okay, so uh, we've already probably got two videos on it. But since she's a viewer, we're going to answer it again. Um, so... I've been into tortoises for a long time, and uh, I'm, now I'm at an age where I, I figured I could, I had the time to take care of them. Um, and uh, so I ordered some. We ordered some from uh, Petrie's Par Dallas, and I believe they're in uh, in uh, Louisiana. Um, so uh, I, I, on this whiteboard back here, at the end of the video, I'll I'll show the information. Uh, and I followed his rules and guidelines. So when you buy a tortoise from him, uh, he he asks him for his care sheet, and he'll give it to you free. If you don't if you don't buy a tortoise from him, you can still get a care sheet from him. Reach out to him for the care sheet. He'll PDF you one. Uh, I, I had no problems. Uh, I think I bought like I'm not sure, maybe eleven tortoises, or uh, I don't remember. I have to count them. So. Uh, it was several, so um, I had no I had no die offs. I had no no issues with them. I think one had gotten sick, but uh, I gave it Repti Aid. Repti Aid. Uh, let me see. I don't know how it's gonna come out, but it's R E P T. AID and this is XL Repti 8. Okay, and this is the Repti 8, and I think it goes by grams. Um, so one's for larger tortoises or reptiles, and one's for smaller. Um, it's good up to maybe two years, and then you'll have to replace it. So we keep this in the refrigerator. Uh, so I'm um, like, we're getting tortoises now. I'll replace this uh, probably next month. I'll order a new one. So uh, Minnesota, hopefully that answers your question. Okay, the next one is from Georgia. Um, and he, he wants to know, um, <laughs> at what age did you start to get eggs? And what was the problem uh, you have with them? Okay, so uh, I got eggs yes, uh, last year, and they were only three years old. Uh, I know a lot of viewers, uh, they're debating on, you know, why they're so big at three years old. Uh, they're, they're much older. Uh, I followed the guidelines. I followed the rules uh, that he gave me, and look at us now, four years, four years down the road. Uh, they'll turn five in November, I think. They'll be five this five. So, uh, no problems, uh, problems, uh, getting eggs, uh, this year right here, uh, we have over 200 plus eggs in the incubator, um, and we had to go into smaller tubs because we ran out of space, uh, but we haven't had any problems, and this year is our first year hatching, fully hatching, uh, a tortoise, so we, we just had, a tortoise must have hatched like two or three days ago, uh, so we're kind of excited about that. And we'll keep you informed. Okay, this one, uh, 
This question, how old, how old are your tortoises and don't lie about it? I heard you say that they are four years old. This year proof, oh yeah, uh, because I said they were four years old. Uh, this is going back to uh, the man that's asking the question. Uh, this fem this lady, she's from California, and uh, she's uh, calling me out on it again. Uh, I was called on it uh, on Facebook, I think, or on one of my videos, my early videos, uh, maybe two years down the road or three years down the road when I made a video, and they, they called me out on it. I think they're calling me out on it again. Um, they are four years old, and uh, uh, shoot a Facebook message to Byron Petrie on Facebook. I got them from him, and they're four years old, so they'll turn five this year, like uh, probably like this month, October, November, December. They'll be they'll be five years old this year. So uh, uh, yeah, okay. So another question from California. Uh, we talked about we made a video out there about a mulberry tree and how the fence the grass was overgrowing. And I think they saw the mulberry tree there and we were trimming it and stuff. And they saw the way the mulberry tree was growing like this. So uh, they want to know more about what's going on with it. <laughs> so what we did is uh, there used to be like a 50-foot tree there before we even started hatching tortoises or got the tortoises. And I had a backhoe come through here and tear it out. And, of course, there was roots left and it grew back. And now that it's growing back, it grew, it grew so high, I cut it. And then what it's doing is as the, the stems reach for the sun, I started bending the sideways towards into the tortoise pen uh, because I saw it either in a picture or in a video behind somebody's house. They had uh, the mulberry tree running along the fence, line, the fence like that, a cedar fence. So any, any shoots that grow up, we cut them and any they're long enough, we bend them over and then we tie them with a piece of wire. So so that way we don't have to, uh, the tree going up, it's actually growing that way. Uh, and I think I might see that in uh, in maybe Capadillo Farms video or, or Will, I think his name is Will uh, from California, uh, but he's with Capadillo Farms. I think I might have seen a picture or, or a video of his. Uh, he needs to put out more videos of his backyard. Uh, he doesn't have that many, so uh, he's got some, he'll have some good content. All right, next one. Uh, okay, this is from someone here in Texas, and she's asking, we have seen you pick up eggs uh, from nest, and you take, uh, and you talk, and you take, you talk about incubation. What problems have you run into right now? Any advice on it? as how to uh, prepare. Okay, so uh, the only advice I can give is uh, uh, I was unprepared. So last year I was unprepared. Uh, I didn't have an incubator. I had went to Tractor Supply, I bought those styrofoam incubators. Uh, I kept the eggs for, for like three months, but I didn't see any, so I, I, I disposed of them. Uh, I wasn't aware of how long it took to hatch. Uh, I reached out to several people on uh, Facebook and uh, YouTube, and I, a lot of a lot of hobbyists don't want to share their their hatching information with you, uh, and that's true. So uh, I reached out to a lot of people, like a lot. I can't. I don't. I, 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 it was a lot, more than thirty something, probably more than that. Uh, so. I got on uh, YouTube, no, I got on Facebook and I seen, uh, I think his name was Van K. Dixon on Facebook. And then I seen him making a video of uh, his, uh, like radiatas, I think, um, that he was raising for a, a person in the army or something like that. I don't recall. And I saw that his incubator was a Coke machine, like a Coke cooler. So I went and found a Coke cooler and, uh, I decided to make one, so uh, I, I made one, but it didn't want to keep temperature, and I think what it was, it was that uh, Herbstad or whatever thermostat I bought, it cost me $200, what a waste of money, um, so uh, 
So uh, I finally got it to work, but it was on the last minute, like uh, when eggs started coming and I had to buy an, uh, a fourth incubator, uh, a tractor supply, and I said, it's not gonna work with these styrofoam incubators because I was having issues with, uh, I think it's like the thermometer, the temperature probe with the uh, humidity. Let me get one. get one guys hold on okay so this is what I'm talking about I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to see it but you see this little black thing here that's humidity and temperature these go bad really quick okay so uh, I reached out to I think it's a little giant tractor supply I reached out to the factory that makes them and uh, they had to order them for me because nobody had them in stock. Nowhere in uh, in the web market, nobody had them in stock. So I reached out to them. They were three weeks, three weeks uh, after I paid for it. They're like they're three weeks uh, away. You know, they didn't tell me before I paid, but I ordered three and uh, and I changed them. But right off the back, two weeks later, they started going bad again. So uh, uh, I put in. I went and saw another video. On Facebook and I saw a person that uh, I think it was snake discovery um, yeah I think it was snake discovery and uh, they were building an incubator because they had a, a cooler in their in their shop or in their house and uh, I saw that they ordered some fans and then they ordered them on Amazon they're like single fans and they ordered four and they said they had a double one, right? So that's what I did. I ordered the fans on Amazon, uh, speed control, because they had speed control. Um, and that, then that's what I used, but I used the false wall, the false wall, uh, like false wall is the space behind the, the, the cabinet. And then that, that that's where the, the tape is at. Um, but I'll need to make another video on that. And that's how I got it to work. Uh, I took ideas from other people and and the idea from snake discovery I think it was snake discovery uh, was on those fans those uh, those USB type plug-in fans where you take like the USB thing that you use to charge your phone and plug the fan in those that was a good idea because that's what I'm running it with right now all right a lot of that uh, oh yeah uh, a lot of hobbyists didn't want to share incubation uh, temperatures with us and uh, or any ideas on how to incubate them or, uh, you know, like you would, I would see a video and then I would see some holes on the thing. Then I reach out to them, what are the holes for? Uh, and then they would tell me, uh, another guy from YouTube, um, he was real helpful. He's like, J just drill some couple of holes on there for, for air exchange. So then that's what I did. And uh, so I'm following him. So, you know, because uh, uh, he, he, he hatches eggs from uh, yellow foots uh, and succotas. Okay, uh, another one from here from Texas, and I know where he's at. He's in Odessa. Um, he wants to know, he wants to know uh, where I buy my supplies uh, and am I paying like wholesale prices? Uh, Am I getting special discounts? Uh, you know, or I know somebody. So no, no, I'm not getting no discounts. No, I'm not paying special prices. Um, I buy on on uh, I buy what I need either tractor supply, uh, YouTube, uh, Missouri from directly from Missouri, uh, and Pet Mountain. So uh, like all my calcium, my calcium here. My calcium, this calcium right here comes from Pet Mountain. And uh, I think like if you buy two, they're a certain price. If you buy three, they're a certain price. Uh, and then like 40 or $75 is shipped for free. So uh, the more you buy, you get free shipping and then the price goes down. So uh, that's how I'm able to buy it in bulk. So sometimes you're able to pay 20 to $21 a, a tub if you order three uh, with free shipping. So I'll order three or four at a time. Uh, and then uh, 
the calcium square, the ZooMed calcium square, the one that has cactus in it. Uh, those there too. Uh, you could buy them in packs of twelve. Uh, the the Reptical, the Reptical with vitamin D three. Um, this one is hard to source out. So uh, if I can't find it on the web or anywhere in the web, uh, I'll go to eBay. Uh, sometimes uh, I can get it on eBay out of California. I might be buying it directly from a person that works that you know that works in the area or that has a store there somewhere in the area that has it. And it's because it has D three, it costs a little more. Uh, brand new, just got it maybe last week because I was expecting to receive some tortoises uh, from Petries and so far nothing so we'll, we'll, we'll keep an eye on those tortoises uh, okay so next one uh, Pet Mountain uh, Pet Mountain uh, I do a lot of business with them but it's like when I'm running low that's when I order Zoom it uh, all my uh, Missouri LS is coming from ZooMed. Uh, my Timothy Hay pellets come from Tractor Supply and anything else I need from Tractor Supply. So, uh, all right, let's move on. Uh, what are you going to do with all the hatchlings? Okay, this person's from New Mexico. Uh, I got New Mexico, Texas, California. Um, I made a video of this. I, I talk about it in almost some of my videos saying that uh, we're going to hold on to them till we get them out of the vulnerable stage. So I'm not sure uh, how many are going to hatch. If I have 200 plus eggs in the incubator right now, I might get 50 to hatch because it's their second season to lay eggs. Not all eggs will hatch. Uh, but I want them to be... Uh, I don't want you to take a little two-month-old tortoise and get it the grass and get it, you know, build a... a, a, a a leopard house where you know like with dirt and everything um, I want you to have something like this okay um, when I'm ready when we're ready to release them uh, maybe it maybe they'll be six months seven months or a year old um, these right here uh, this right here came to me in December I'm not sure the day maybe three or four December third or fourth um, these right now, uh, I'm assuming right now, October, November, and October, these, these might have been born in October. So uh, maybe when I got them, they were two months old. So these are one year old. And um, what I got here is a fishing ruler, uh, Gator Grip Golden Pure Tournament Board. Okay. And this is my fishing, you know, what the size limits are. Okay. So this right here, I'm going to say right now, it's a one-year-old tortoise, okay? And I'm going to show you. Okay, so we're going to put his head right here. It's touching the, the scoop. And this one right here is at 10 inches. I'm not sure if you can see it. I don't want her to pee all over me. Okay, so she's at 10 inches. And she's not the biggest one, and she's not the smallest one. There's different sizes of ones over there, but she was the only one that was out. Because it's cold out. <laughs> because it's cold out, uh, not all of them are coming out of the hot box. Sorry about that, I almost fell down. So, would you rather have a, a one-year-old tortoise that I did all the work for you and I raised it for one year old for, you know, 400, 500, depending. Or would you pay $300 for a little tortoise that's two months old and then you, you, you're you going to have the trouble to raise it. So I'm going to give uh, the viewers first choice when I'm ready to uh, let them go to their new homes. And we're, gonna, we're new to shipping, so... Uh, we would have to find a way to ship them to you or if you're in Texas, meet you somewhere. Uh, but would you rather have a little two-month-old tortoise, three-month-old tortoise, or would you rather have a one-year-old tortoise that's 10 inches or 8 inches, right? So uh, we'll let you decide. Uh, 
you know, this these stores are special to us. So <laughs> they're like family. You we don't want to we don't want to sell them. We don't want to get rid of them. But we're actually wanting to help the people that want one. So if you want to take the the time and effort to raise a hatchling, uh, we, you're more than welcome. Um, but I'll get him well started for you, and you know maybe two three months down the road he'll he'll be this big, right? Uh, we'll, 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 when we get to that point, uh, we'll discuss it. Um, okay, so uh, the next the next thing we're gonna talk about here is uh, the people that 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 help me with the uh, incubation in, in information. Um, I'd like to thank Van K. Dixon. He's on Facebook. Um, Van K. Van K. Dixon has been a very good uh, uh, has been helpful to us. Um, usually responds within uh, a few hours. Um, if he's not at work, um, kind of answers all the questions or he'll send you like videos and or voice message recordings. Uh, another person is Andy Hedge. Uh, these tortoises right here, this tortoise came from Andy's Hedge. Andy Hedge. Uh, he's been very helpful with the growing process. Uh, I do send him updates every now and then. Uh, and then Will, Will at Capadillo Farms, thank you for helping me get started. And I think it was Will's fault that uh, I got into tortoises because like every time I wanted a tortoise, uh, I reach out to Will and he's like, he doesn't like to ship. And you know, he got my blood boiling. Uh, thank you, Will. Uh, if it wasn't for you uh, getting that blood rolling, uh, I wouldn't have all these tortoises. So th thank you very much for, you know, not 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 wanting to ship me tortoises. It made me find tortoises somewhere else. <laughs> so uh, the next person is Mark Thompson. Mark Thompson is on Facebook also, and uh, he's another person that helped me with uh, incubation questions or or temperatures. Uh, so uh, the next one is Byron Petrie. Byron Petrie. Uh, Byron Petrie is also Petrie's Pardalis. Um, you can reach out to the either or. And they've always they they don't they they're also helpful, um, but just don't overwhelm them with questions or you know they'll stop responding. You know, just ask a little uh, question and then just wait for the response. They'll they'll get back to you. Don't constantly constantly telling them a story and this and that. Just just get to the question and and uh, and uh, you know they'll they'll get back with you. They're hobbyists. Uh, they're here to help you on your journey. Uh, I'm here to help you on on my on your journey. Um, you watched us, uh, hopefully you watched our journey the last four years, and uh, I know this video is kind of long, and I'll show you the chart here, and then we'll make a, we'll have to get another video on the, the sizes of these because uh, it's cold out right now, and none of them are coming out of the hot box. Thank you for watching, everybody, and then uh, hopefully we get more, more baby tortoises. Say goodbye. This is a little female. Little female. 10 inches. One year old. <laughs>